everyone. Can you hear my voice? Uh, my name is Yuito, nice to meet you. And today I'm going to talk about the species delimitation and cryptic diversity. So, um, first of all, let's think about the conference itself. This one is a conference, you know, ATBC, Asia Pacific Chapter Meeting, yeah, by Association for Tropical Biology and Conservation. So we should think about conservation. And then, as far as I remember, yesterday, the uh, keynote lecture, Tony, said science is the foundation of conservation. And I'm a taxonomist, and she's an artist, so I want to think about what I can do, what taxonomists can do. And here you can see three papers over there, picked up. So, yeah, conservation of biodiversity through taxonomy, or the role of taxonomy in conservation biology, or the role of taxonomy in species conservation. So today I'm going to show you two case studies that say Taxonomy is the foundation of conservation. And uh, I'm a postdoc of XTBG, and the reason why I chose XTBG is because this is the gateway to the Indo Burma Biodiversity Hotspot, which is actually this area, and then among the 32 world uh, biodiversity hotspots. And the biodiversity hotspot is means the uh, having area having species richness as well as the uh, scarcity studied flora or fauna. So that's why I focus on this area. And since I was a university student, I'm working on the aquatic wetland plants group. And as you can see here, the water. Um, wetland plants appeared spontaneously in the phylogeny evolution of angiosperm. And today I'm going to talk about two genera. One is the Alteria of Hydrochitaceae in Arismataris. The other one is Monocaria of Pontedeliaceae in Comedinaris. So, and we have two revision work by uh, Professor Cook in 1989, and the other one is Professor Cook and his colleague in 1984. And uh, this is the uh, traditional um, morphology based, correction based um, taxonomic revision. And what the professor said is in Monocaria, for instance, there is four species in Asia one in Australia and two in Africa. And in this study, the Otelia, there is five species in Asia and one species in Australia and then probably more than 10 species in Africa. But today I want to talk and focus on the uh, Asia Pacific species. And the reason why I chose this group is because both genera have white spread species, namely Monocaria vaginalis, here. The other one is Otelia rismoides. As you can see, the distribution patterns in the um, <coughs> wide range and from Japan to India, including Flora Malaysia and the northern part of Australia, etc. And these species are not only widespread species, but also species having extensive morphological variation, like flower color differences, as well as the uh, cytological variation from deep rod, tetraploid, and the hexaploid, as well as the uh, ecological variation from shallow water to the deep lake. So my guess here is that these two widespread and uh, morphological variation could include some cryptic over species of diversity. So let's summarize the introduction. The aim of this study is cryptic diversity in widespread species. And the species of interest, we have two species. One is Monocaria vaginalis of Pontedelaceae. The other one is Octelia arismoides of Hydrocaritaceae. And I didn't mention that the method of choice is uh, we're going to use DNA sequence data 